You got to go to the Bible and see who's called. That's right. You called with no sound? Hmm. It's in my gut. You got to give me gut scripture. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about guts. You get bad guts. <laughs> The way you get up here, got to be in there. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Come back to Bible. That's right. The way you get up here, got to be in here. Amen. Up here, in here. <laughs> up here, in here. That's right. Up here, in here. Up here, in here. Not in here, get out of here. That's right. You brothers that's walking around, I've been called. What did you hear from God? What did God say to you? Amen. What did God say to you? You better think about it before you lie on the Holy Ghost. That's right. Do you even know what the term calling means? It is not a feeling. No, no. Bible ain't never described calling as a feeling. No. Calling means that God calling. He heard you heard God's voice. That's right. People come and tell me, Pastor Jenna, you're known all around the world. Don't they make you feel good? You're a fool. That's a fool. It, ain't, it don't feel good doing this. No. It is painstaking. It's exhausting. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and God knows spiritually. Yeah. When you're called and sent, everybody ain't called. No way. Someone said, but the Bible says many are called or few are chosen. chosen. But many are called to do what? <laughs> That's right. Well, Pastor Jim, the Bible said he called the whole earth. They ain't talking about preaching. No. That's talking about repentance. He, chose. he called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down, down thereof. That's for repentance. That's right. Not for preaching. No, no. Well, we'll get into that another time mm -hmm. and break it down and take it apart by God's permission. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There are several ways of getting the pulpit. I won't get into it tonight, but I just tossed this out at you. Let you nibble at you when you go home. There are several ways of getting the pulpit, and all of them ain't called. No. There's by calling, there's by gift, there's by appointment. There's by group chosen, and there's by desire. That's right. Hey, man, we'll get that another time. That's right. I just want to put that bread on the table and let you eat. And all of it is in the scripture. That's right. Somebody said, I'm called. What is it? What is it? Who told you you called? What is it? Yeah. What, what is a calling? Something you felt in your gut? Well, I've got the feeling there ain't no calling. That's not a calling. I was called. How do you know? What did you hear? Well, I ain't heard nothing. Then how did you conclude you called? Hmm. Samuel! That's right. Spirit called Samuel. Samuel ran to Eli. Saul, Saul! Yeah. Paul said, I heard that excellent voice. Yeah, yeah. Bible ain't never said calling is a feeling you got. No. Call is the voice of God. That's right. Well, what about gift? That's what Timothy had. Timothy. A gift that lied dormant. And the apostle Paul laid hands on him and stirred it up and said, from your youth, you knew the scriptures. That's right. What about desire if a man... Desire the office of a bishop. He desire a good work. What about group selection? Look at among you, seven men. Honest report. Honest report. Full of the Holy Ghost. Who we may appoint over this business. Wonderful. What about appointed? Ordained elders in every city as I, I have appointed them. Appointed them. And all those offices is not always a calling. That's right. That's right. 
I get into that another time. We use that term loosely through the years. Calling, 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 calling because we didn't understand the term that was used. Right. So we used it loosely. Amen. Amen. I was in my room one night a few weeks ago and, and just thought on it. Hmm. Calling, calling, calling. And then the Spirit guided me to several different scriptures of different ways men got in the pulpit. No one said, well, every time a man is in a pulpit, he's a minister. First Timothy, chapter 2. Yeah. I give you Bible for a teaching brother. Bible ain't give him no title of a minister, elder, none of it. But he's a faithful brother. Second Timothy, chapter 2. Listen. And we'll start at verse 1. Tell what? Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace. Be strong in the grace. That is in Christ Jesus. We have used the word calling, calling, calling loosely through the years. Yeah. Now let's come back to Bible. That's right. That's right. I feel like I'm calling. Ain't no such thing exists. No. That's James Brownism. <laughs> come on back. Come on back. Come on back to Bible. Stay right there. Don't move. That's right. I don't want your feeling. I don't want nothing. Come on back to Bible. That's it. Did you hear what it says? And the things that thou hast heard of me among look, look many at Paul witnesses. Look Timothy. What you heard of me. The same commitment. Wait here. What you heard of me. The same. Read the whole thing. And the things. The things. That thou hast heard of me. That you heard of me. Among many witnesses. Among many witnesses. The same. The same things you heard of me. That's right. Do what? The same commit thou you to commit faithful men. You commit that information. To faithful men. To faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others also. Faithful preachers. Who shall be able to teach. Faithful preachers. Faithful men. Faithful ministers. Faithful men. Faithful elders. Faithful men. Men, they got callings. Faithful men. Just faithful men. That's right. The Bible broke it up in several categories. That's right. You can never look at it from one category. Yes. The Bible has never said, nowhere, every man got a calling. Never. No. That's been the verbiage of religion for years, especially the apostolics. Right. You got to go to the Bible and see who's called. That's right. You called with no sound? Hmm. It's in my gut. You got to give me gut scripture. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about guts. You get bad guts. <laughs> the way you get up here got to be in there. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. The way you get up here, got to be in there. That's what makes it the truth of God. I'm staying with Bible. I'm not accepting nobody gut feeling. Nobody. That's right. Did you hear the old troublemaker? That's right. You got to come here, right there. That's when right. I tell you I'm not moving, I mean it. That's right. The Holy Ghost said that. And the things that thou hast heard of me. That you heard of me. Among many, among witnesses, many witnesses. The same. The same. Commit thou to faithful men. Faithful men. Who shall be. Who shall be able to do what? Who shall be able to teach others also. Teach him. That's He's right. faithful. Faithful. Teach him. That's right. Bishop Prick is the desired office. That's right. Evangelists can come about two ways. Two ways. Someone say what? Yes. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, Philip was one of the seven. He was an evangelist. But Timothy had the gift in him, and Paul laid hands on him instead of the gift that was in him. That's right. But have you noticed all those positions had one thing in common? The laying on hands of the apostles. Maybe that's one of them. That's one of them. I got the calling, I got the calling, I got the calling, I got the calling. I feel like I got a calling. Talk the Bible talk. That's right. Talk the Bible talk. Don't bring me your feeling. Who? Nobody. Nobody. I don't respect it. I don't honor it. I have no reverence to it. 
I honor what's written. That's right. Otherwise, then that take what you got and flush it down the toilet, and if the toilet get clogged, I'm coming with the plunger of the scripture. That's right. I'm going to take God and I'm going to watch that stuff go down. <laughs> Come on back. That's right. The Bible ain't never said everybody got a calling. No. What about the scripture passage? It is the gift of calling. It says the gift and calling. And calling. Gift and calling. For the gifts and calling. Here. In Romans 11 and verse 29. Spelled gifts. G-I-F-T-S. That lets you know it ain't just talking about preaching. Gifts. So I said, what is it talking about, Pastor Jennings? The Bible talks about the gift of the spirits. Of the, spirit. the fruit of the spirits. That's right. We took it. Calling, 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 calling. You know, sir, you're going to come back to the Bible. That's right. Everybody is not called. No, no way. When you read that Bible and see them men that was called, the work followed them. That's right. Not a disruptive gut, not a bad feeling, <laughs> not a woke up with a feeling. No. No. Come back to Bible. That's right. The way you get up here got to be in here. Yeah. Up here, in here. Up here, in here. That's right. Up here, in here. Up here, in here. Not in here, get out of here. That's right. Did you hear that? That's right. Just read your Bible. You don't find where everything in here was saying they was called. Not in here. Not in here, no. The churches have adopted that terminology. No. You're called, I'm called, I'm called, I'm called, I'm called. The churches adopted that terminology. I'm called, I'm called, I'm called. Who calls you? Who calls you? God, what did he say? Uh, I got the feeling. Where's that at? You could have ate some bad greens. <laughs> I got the feeling. I want that. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Samuel! Samuel! God called him. God called him. But he didn't send him till later. That's right. So, so! God called him. Didn't send him till later. He had to go down and get straightened out. Ananias was sent to him, a certain disciple. Lay hands right. on him that he may receive the sight. He was called to the apostleship then, but he wasn't sent to later. Right. You can be called, but ain't sent at the same time. That's right. He was called. Saul, Saul, called to it, but he wasn't made it to later. That's right. You can be called to the house, but you ain't eaten till later. Right. So he said when Paul was called then, he was made an apostle. How in the world using an apostle, no baptism, name Jesus Christ, no Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. And this is after the resurrection? That's right. After. If he was called then, why wasn't he in the church? That's right. When God called Paul, he wasn't in the church. No. He wasn't in the church. If he was in the church, why would Ananias lay hands on him? Hands on him. He was just called. The man wasn't even in the church yet. That's right. Didn't even have the Holy Ghost yet. That's Didn't right. receive the sight yet until Ananias lay hands on him. He received the sight and straightway he went preaching Jesus was the Christ. Right. Stay within that book. That's it. Wonderful. I don't believe nothing. You, you even hear me saying it for years. Yeah. But what's in here? Oh, yes. And your brother say, I got the calling. All right, where is it? Where is it? What did God say? I didn't hear nothing. This, you, where you called that then? <laughs> if I call you, Barry, come here. You hear me calling you. Calling you. Well, Byron, it's like laying in bed. Wake up. Oh, man, my stomach. Whew. What's wrong, Byron? I felt like you was calling me. 
over stomach cramps? Amen. You go take some Tylenol. All of this religious garbage done. I done came up in that stuff. I came up in it. So I understand the verbiage of the apostolic for years. This one say I got a call. This one say I got a call. This one say I got a call. I got a calling. The Bible had never at no time styled all areas of ministry as calling. Religion did. Right. The Bible breaks down the very forms of ministry and how they got into it. Timothy had the gift. That's right. From the scriptures, from the youth. You knew the scriptures. You say you knew them from your youth. From, from, from your youth. Your grandmother and your mother. And your mother. But Paul laid hands on them to stir up the gift that was in them. That's right. To all of you that say you got a calling, all of you, and I don't give two cents who you are. Yeah. Where is it in here? Oh, yeah. Take your title and see is the word calling attached to it in the Bible. That's right. Take your title and see is the word called tied to it in the Bible. Just forget what we believed for years. Forget all that. Come back to Bible. That's right. You gut fillers. Stop eating that bad fish. And bad grits. I'm talking Bible here. That's right. That's right. You brothers that want to be ministers that's going to the evaluation team. I got a calling. I got a calling. Where? Where? What did you hear? What did God say? Why well, you heard God say nothing? You ever heard someone call and ain't say nothing? <laughs> How you going to say somebody called you and then at the same time, they ain't saying nothing to me? Nobody said nothing. Does that even make sense? No. I was called. What did you hear? Well, I don't mean that. No, 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 no. That's right. I was called. That's well, right. I, don't, I don't mean that. What do you mean? I felt I don't want that. No. Ministry ain't no game. No way. This is church order. That's right. The apostle instructed Titus, let I thee in Crete. That's right. That you should ordain elders in every city. As Not I as God called you. As I had appointed as you. As I had appointed you. Appointed thee. And then he laid out the qualifications, if any be blameless. The husband of one wife. Yeah. What else? Having faithful Your children. children got to be faithful. Not a kings of right or unruly. Or unruly. For a bishop, bishop must, must be blameless, blameless as the steward, steward of God. Of God. Not, Not self will. Not soon angry. Not go, don't get mad quick. Not given to wine. If any of you mad quick right now, you ain't fit to be ordained. Not fit. That's right. Not soon angry. You can't get mad quick. If you get mad, wait till later. Don't get soon. Work your way into it slowly. That's right. Did you hear? Not soon angry. Not given to wine. No striker. Not given to filthy lucre. Can't love money. Not, but a lover of hospitality. You gotta love hospitality. A lover of good men. What? Sober. Stable minded. Just. Honest. Holy. Holy. What? Holy. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. Don't even be evaluated. <laughs> That's right. Time for the Holy Ghost. That's right. What are you doing being evaluated? You ain't got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Holy. Temperate. Self-control. Holding fast the faithful word. Wait a minute. You got it now. This is faithful words right faithful here. Faithful word. So now you look at what you see happen to you and take it to the Bible and see is that faithful words. Right. I didn't say faithful feelings. No. Faithful word. Are you listening? Holding fast the faithful word. I don't word. want faithful feelings. That's right. I dreamed I was in a pulpit. Okay. You may dream you was rich, but you're still working for somebody. Amen. I used to dream I can fly. Yeah, when I was a child, I couldn't, I, I would dream I was on my way. And don't, and don't let me watch Superman. Or Shazam. Or Ultraman. God, when I watched Ultraman and saw Hayata and the Science Patrol, I ran, I ran and got my spoon and went in the street and held it up. Waiting to change. Waiting to change. And I was running around. 
Ultraman. Hallelujah. You see, some is laughing because they can identify with it. Many are called, but a few are chosen to do it. That's right. You got to read that whole scripture that talks about many are called. That's right. There's more than one way to be called and sent. That's right. It's more than one way to be called and sent. That's you right. brothers that's walking around, I've been called. What did you hear from God? What did God say to you? Amen. What did God say to you? You better think about it before you lie on the Holy Ghost. That's right. Do you even know what the term calling means? It is not a feeling. No, no. The Bible ain't never described calling as a feeling. No. Calling means that. God calling. He heard you heard God's voice. That's right. I want to say, well, God called me through his word. What did he say then? What did he say? He told me, go in the head of the highways to compel my people to come. You can do that by giving out tracts. That's true. That's just deal with it with the Bible. That's right. When I look at your title, and if you say you're called direct of God, see, is a direct calling attached to the title. That's right. I came out the apostolic. I'm familiar with the verbiage that's used. And they've been tossed around loosely for years. This got to call him. That got to call him. That's what they call him. No, 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 no. Every capacity of ministry is not called. That's right. There's appointed. There's selection. That's the Bible. There's appointed. There's selection. And there's desire. Desire. If a man desires the office of a bishop, it tells you he desires a good work. good work. And it didn't say he got to be called to it. No. It just said what qualifications he got to have in order to be it. That's right. If you don't have those qualifications, I don't care how many voices you hear. You don't have these qualifications, you ain't it. That's right. You can't yell you the heavyweight champion of the world. You ain't got no belt. Only belt you got is on Tories R Us that went out of business. <laughs> That's why a lot of folks don't like Pastor Jennings because a lot of this stuff, folks, folks been doing it for years. Yeah. Uh -uh, come on back and do it the Bible way. I got a calling. What is it? What is it? What do you mean you got a calling? Mm. I feel like I got a calling. Ain't no such thing. No. There ain't no such thing. I feel like I got there ain't no such thing. Such thing. The Bible ain't never taught that. No. We come out of the apostolic faith that taught it. Sometimes bitches to ask you in the apostolic church, you got a calling? Well, yeah, what is it? Well, I feel like I'm called to this area of ministry. Yeah. You got the feeling? Yeah. I feel like I'm called. You, you do? <laughs> Who gave you that feeling? Gave you the feeling. Well, I think it's God. Wait a minute. You think it's God? Mm. Did you know it wasn't God that told Timothy to be an evangelist? No. Paul told him, do thou the work of an evangelist. Not God told him. That's right. Paul told him, do thou the work of an evangelist. I told Todd, do the work of an evangelist. That's right. Why? I saw the gift in him. Right. Did God call him? No. No. Todd can't tell nobody God called him. He'll be lying. That's right. God didn't call him. That's right. No more than God called Timothy. Right. But the gift was in him. That's right. Thank God, and I know my position when I lay the hands on them is set up the gift that's in them, and everywhere I send Todd, God give him victory. Amen. Everywhere. Everywhere. Amen. Do the work. The elders. You got to have qualification, then be ordained. That's right. Bible ain't never said an elder is called. No. Bible ain't never said it. There's no. not even a half a scripture that says it. No. Nowhere. Nowhere. Bible call Titus an elder. Call no. Gaius an elder. My dear beloved brother Gaius. An elder. Bible ain't say Gaius was called. No. Someone says he got to have the calling. Says who? That's right. 
You see how quiet it is now? That's the apostolic stuff. Come right back to that Bible. That's it. Come back to that Bible. That's right. All areas of ministry, the Bible have never categorized. You can read the Bible for yourself and see how they were selected. Look at the seven in the book of Acts. For years, we said they were deacons. We find out they weren't they deacons. Weren't deacons. But here come Philip, who was called an evangelist. evangelist. And the Bible said, God has set some in the church. That's right. He itemized it. So I said, well, if you ain't called, how did God set him in the church? Different ways. He called and sent the apostles. He called and sent the prophets. And the apostles appointed the, uh, the apostles appointed the elder. The apostles ordained the evangelists. Or the apostles tell you, look ye out among you. That's right. And out of that seven, Philip said, I'm one of the seven. One of the seven. Who was he? Evangelist. Philip the evangelist. You better not tell me those seven was called. I'll make you read it. That's right. Apostolic verbiage. That's all it is. I came out of it for years. If you're going to be an elder, you're going to be it the Bible way. That's right. If you can't be an elder the Bible way, you can't preach here. No. Because if you tell me you called, I'm going to make you go to that Bible and find me one elder who profess to be called. That's right. Because there's nothing new under the sun. I got the feeling that don't work. James Brown dead. <laughs> Amen. I came out of that trash. Oh, yeah. Amen. You say you, you 80 years old. Right. Coming up February 13. You know. <laughs> if you're called, where's your works? That's right. Where's your anointing? That's right. Where's your works? Where's your anointing? Where's your revelation? Where's your inspiration? Yep. Not even Apollos was called. That's right. He was just eloquent in the book. That's right. How in the world a man going to be called and sent and need a husband and a wife to expound unto him the more perfect way? That's right. And yet, he was fervent, the book the says, in the scriptures. But you better not tell me Apollos was called. Yet, he was a minister. That's right. Eloquent. But you better not tell me he was called. No, 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 no. And you better not tell me he said he had the calling. No. I came out of that apostolic stuff. I know the language. Come back to Bible. That's right. You think I've been saying that for fun? Come back to the Bible. The Bible's challenging everyone that claim they got a calling. Yeah. All of you brothers in here that say you was called, I'm challenging it with the Bible. That's right. And you know who going to win? The Bible. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't you go tell me. I know what God said to me. God talked through the From Bible. The God said, he that believe on me as, as the scripture has said. said. What's the word of God says? That's right. You got the calling? What, what did you hear God say? What did he say? What did God say? Let's touch with Bible. What did God say? What did he say? Samuel! He run to Eli. That's right. Samuel! He run to Eli. That man was being called. Yeah. God wasn't whistling at him. <laughs> no. Called David. Called Solomon. Yeah. And appeared to Solomon. And appeared to him. Called Jeremiah. And told him, before I formed thee, out of the belly, I knew you. Before you came forth out of your mother's womb, I sanctified you. I ordained you to be a prophet. Jeremiah told us what God said. God and then Jeremiah said what he said. He said, oh, my Lord. I cannot go. I'm a child. 
And the Lord said unto me, Don't you say you a child. child. But thou shalt go to all that I send thee. He not only was called, but he was sent direct from heaven. That's right. That's Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Come back to Bible. If we ain't going to come back to Bible, don't even waste our time. And ain't nobody coming up here and get around that Bible. Nobody. That's right. Did you hear the old troublemaker? That's right. We're going to do it the Bible way, Bible way. or we're going to shut everything down. For you to get up here, you got to come through that scripture. Yeah. Because Jesus said, I'm the door. I'm the door. And we're going to open that door wide, and I'm going to look at scripture. That's right. And see how did you get in. And if you come in the other way, thief. He's a thief and a robber. And a robber. The bishopric is an office that's desired. desired. And an office that one is appointed in. A bishop is an elder. That's right. It's not two different offices. Right. A bishop is an elder. In the first chapter of Titus, he said, Are they elders in every city as I is appointed thee? Then he addressed the same occupation and said, If a bishop be blameless. That's right. Same thing. Same thing. No you in these churches, you are elder, then some nut ordained you a bishop. That's like I give you two dollars and then I give you uh, eight quarters. That's right. I give you two dollars and then I give you eight quarters. You thought you got more? No, you didn't. Same two. One make noise and the other don't. That's right. That's right. Bible speak plain. If a man, if a man desire the desire office of a bishop, the office that means if you want to be a bishop. That's right. If he want to be a bishop. He desireth a good work. Paul said the work is good. Good work. But what? A bishop then must be blameless. Now he's telling you if you want this position. Right. This is what you got to be before you can get it. A bishop then must be blameless. Come on, I itemize it to you. That's right. Keep it like the Bible. Keep it like that. I've said more, but we ain't moving. Wonderful. The God of Abraham have blessed me and plant my Wonderful. feet solid. Before I met anything in here, I'm not moving. We cannot say we're the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and then deviate from that Bible. Amen. All of you fellas said you got calling. What voice did you hear? What did God, what did God tell you? You mean to tell me all you got all these callers? You don't need me then. That's right. You got all these callings? What do you, what do you need me for? Yeah. You need an apostle. Oh, yes. You got to have an apostle. I have one. An apostle set the church in order. That's right. This ain't about high-mindedness and big I and big you. This is about the apostles' doctrine and the order of the church. Church, church order. Forget feeling. Forget emotion. That's right. Church order. Not this trash we was taught for years. Church order. That's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. You can't make me say I got a calling if I ain't. If I ain't got no calling, I ain't got none. Yeah. But you that said, I, I, I think I'm called. You think. You think. Do you think you got to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're black? Do you think you're white? That's right. Do you think you gotta take a bath? Wonderful. Look at the world you think this is. Amen. What come out of your mouth will either save or damn. You that say you got the feeling of a calling, where such a feeling ever exists in that Bible? In the scriptures. Don't you, rep don't you reply against God. That's right. It ain't nobody in that Bible said they had a feeling. No. Not one. Because you got to get a witness. Yeah. Not in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let every word be established. That's it. I know a thing is on working on this, but I'm going to follow the move of my boss. Amen. Yeah. 
You called? You, what did you hear? What did God tell you? What he said. Well, I woke up at night sweating. Turn the <laughs> heat down in the house. I don't believe nothing. That's right. You called? We know what calling is. If you don't, I strongly advise you, be scared for that to come out of your mouth. That's right. If you don't know what it is, I strongly advise you, you better be scared for that to come out of your mouth. That's right. Wonderful. No, there ain't no speaking in tongue now. <laughs> Happy New Year, I said. Wonderful. This is Bible. Yeah. I'm telling you, ain't nobody gonna move me from the Bible. No. My mother used to come to me and she said, Son, I pray. If you never change, I tell my mom, look, just pray and ask God to give you strength, because you gotta worry about that. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> this right here. Has it plain. plain? I take this over psychology. Oh yes. Astrology, yes. sociology, yes. igiology, <laughs> pigiology, yes. dubiology. I take this. Oh yes. If you gonna go and say you're called, called. I'm gonna make you call for Bible, where the man in that Bible that got your position declared himself to be called. And you better not tell me that God doing something new. Because no. God says nothing new under the, no sun. under the sun. Every office in that Bible is clear how one got it. That's right. It's in there how they got, how they got it. it. And you think God going to flip it up and change it for you? No, no, no. I feel as though that I, I got this feeling. I, I came out of false church where that went on. Yeah. My former bishop had a feeling. He said the Bible came to him four foot by four foot. <laughs> Big word. <laughs> Four foot by four foot, big word. Really big Bible, really big. Some of you is not ready to be ordained. You, don't, you mean to tell me a title and you don't know how to go get it? You don't know how that title was administered to you? Yeah. God had to call me. God ain't had to do nothing but be God. That's right. If a man desire, desire, you can desire ministry, or you can have the gift in you. Yeah. Timothy had the gift in him. in him. That's so plain in the Bible as Acts 2 38 is. That's right. Paul laid hands on him and stirred the up gift. the gift. Him. You know you ain't been called. Don't you go lie and say you was. That's right. If I can make you say you're called and you ain't, you don't need to be up here. You're too unstable. That means I can make you tell a lie. That's right. Come on back to Bible. I don't care what church you came from. Hear the old man now. I'm telling you, I don't give two cents what church you came from. No. Go to that Bible. It says gifts, plural. Gifts. Gifts. Gifts and calling are without repentance. Read the whole, read the whole verse. In Romans chapter 11 and at verse 29. That's what? For the gifts. Plural. And calling of God. Are without repentance. What else? That's it for that verse. Okay. What else? For as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. There are many gifts out there. Gifts. And there are many callings out there. Right. Gifts. Gifts. And callings. And callings. You got gifts, many gifts. There's many gifts in the church. That's right. Gift of wisdom. For the one is given by the Spirit. Listen at this in the book of Corinthians. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 8. Begin at verse 7. At verse 7. What is it? But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. What is it? For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. And. To another the word of knowledge. And. By the same Spirit. And. To another faith by the and. same Spirit. To another the gifts of healing. The gifts of what? The gifts of healing. Spell, spell, spell gifts. G-I-F-T-S. That means ability with, uh, to heal 
give, uh, for healing in different aspects. Right. Gifts. Gifts. Plural. Gifts. Gifts of healing. Plural. Gifts Not singular. of healing. Do you know why? There's different kind of healing. Mental healing, emotional healing, physical healing, spiritual healing. Gifts. Gifts. We've been quoting it wrong. Gift, singular. Right. It's been quoted wrong for years. It didn't say gift, singular. Gifts of healing. All kind of ways to heal a person. Wonderful. God can give someone the ability to can heal a person all kind of ways. Mm. I mean without praying. I want to say all healing comes through prayer. That's a lie. Mm. Jesus said the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Have known me to preach the gospel, to bind up the broken heart. Right. Preaching the gospel can heal a heart. That's bind right. it up. Bind it up. Didn't pray. Didn't lay hands on them. But preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. Hey, listen. Wonderful. In one place, the apostle didn't pray. He told them, stand on your feet. That's right. He stood up and leaped. He just spoke the word. That's right. When he went to Lazarus, Jesus didn't pray. Lazarus! Come forth! He spoke it. Lazarus, come on out of there. That's right. The word gifts is how? Gifts. Spell it. G-I-F-T-S. We quoted it wrong for years. Gift, singular. Right. Now they're down to one gift, preaching. Wow. Mm -mm. Go back and look at that again. That's right. Go to the verse above that. Verse 8. It says what? For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, and to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. He's talking about the different gifts. Right. Word, word of wisdom, word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. Gifts, different gifts here. That's right. It's all given by the Spirit. God gives you wisdom how to implement knowledge. It's a gift. Gift. Wonderful. God giving the gift, how to dive into the vital world, take it apart, break it down. Wonderful. God giving the gift. That's something. Not gift, singular. Now there are diversities of gifts. Chapter okay, verse verse. Four, 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 4. There are different diversities kinds of gifts. Of no singular. G I F T S. And we have took this scripture and thought it was just talking about preaching. True. Preaching is a gift. That's true. Singular. Don't try to make God plural if he's one. Don't try to make this singular if it's plural. That's right. Did you hear? Now there are diversities of gifts. There's different kind of gifts. But the same spirit. What are they? And there are diverse and there are differences of administration. Yes. But the same Lord. What is it? And there are diversities of operations. Different functions. But it is the same God which worketh all in all. All these different areas of ministry is the work of God, but it's different ways to get in it. Right. Why? Because the different offices is what make the administration. That's right. But there's different ways to get in that office. Right. Like the presidency. You can get in that office by election. And you can get in that office by default. The president died. Vice president didn't even get elected to be president. That's right. He just end up in there. Right. Get sworn in right on the spot. On the spot. Wonderful. Don't try to create a method of getting in something that God did not create. Because right. somebody out there can come challenging you on it. Yeah. Stay within the Bible. That's All right. you fellas that say you got a calling, go to the Bible. That's right. You that say you got it in your gut, in your back, in your behind, in your leg. All this Charlie horse. <laughs> I ain't playing with none of you. Amen. You say you got a calling? Go to that Bible. Amen. And read it in there. Read it in here. If you can't find it in there, where that office is called. Don't you lie on that book. That's right. Am I right, Bishop Williams? Don't you lie on that book. That's right. 
Oh, I know what God told me. I'm not moved. This is where I'm going. That's right. Pastor Jesus, I had a dream. So did Martin Luther King. <laughs> that one day little black boys and little white girls would hold hands and say, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. <laughs> I don't care nothing about your dream. And here you got a nightmare. Amen. You see, that's one thing God made me determined to do is to lead the church right. Amen. Wonderful. All you fellows that say you got a calling, what did God call you to be? I don't know. What? <laughs> that's right. I think, you think what? Well, I feel like I got this on me. Where is it? That's right. Well, I thought about being a pastor, but then I changed my mind and said, wait a minute, I'm going to try evangelism. Who in the world shift themselves around shift. like this? Well, you become this ministerial shapeshifter. That's right. That's why some is not going to stay here, because I, stay, I'm, I'm, I ain't getting out of here. You can't accept my calling, I can accept the Bible. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing I'm going to accept. If that's the fin you, you shouldn't be here. That's right. Because I'm telling you to your face, I ain't coming out that Bible. That's right. Did you hear the old troublemaker? Yeah. Pastor Jennings ain't coming out that Bible no more than a dog can tap dance. That's right. And make me move. That Bible is the guideline for the church. In the world, you got the calling to be a pastor. Then you say you got the calling to be an evangelist. Then I got the calling to be an elder. Then I, 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 and I couldn't decide what I want to be. So I said, wait a minute, Lord. I'm going to wait. wait. Minute, and then Lord. the Lord called you to be a prophet. You dropped that in three months. That's true. Five different positions. And look how silly that sounds. Yeah. God said I'm not the author of confusion. confusion. That's right. And you've been dumped in five different positions. You think God is a toy? That's right. This is 2022. Cut that foolish talk out. Amen. Come back to the Bible or sit down. Amen. Come back to the Bible. I'm holding the Bible on everybody. That's right. Come back to that or sit down. That's right. This is something that me and Dan the man Stays that used to talk about from the basement up to now. This Bible right here yeah. is a dangerous book. Oh, yes. And coming out of apostolic and Pentecostal have ruined a lot of us. And we got hangovers. Right. Coming out of the apostolic, hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, call, man. What's wrong with you? What's <laughs> up? You call, yeah. yeah. What are you? I don't know. I'm. I was an elder. I tried that for three years. Then I tried being a pastor. Then I tried being an evangelist. But my work couldn't go nowhere. Yeah. When did God ever call and send a man that wasn't productive? That's right. What, you trying to make God a fool? Here we teaching all this Bible, and you this blind? Amen. You called? Called. Go here. Yeah. Show me what you are in here. If you can't show me in here, you tell that lie the last time. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Right here is what I believe. That's right. I know what being called is. I know it. When I tell you I heard his voice, I ain't talking about I read something. I ain't talking about what I read. No. no. I heard God's voice louder and clearer than you hear mine now. I was called and sent to do what I'm doing. You think you're the only one called? No. No way. Well, he called the whole earth. I ain't dealing with preaching. If that's the case, that means he called the whole earth to preach. So then who's going to follow? That's right. Everybody's called to preach. Who in the world going to follow? That's right. I had a dream I was in the pulpit. Okay. 
But what did God tell you? Right. Look at your office. Look at the title. Go to the Bible. And see was anybody declared themselves what you declared. That's right. And if you can't find it, I'm going to shoot it to pieces. Amen. If you're offended by it, don't get up here no more. If you're a minister in the branch church, I'll fire you and take you down. When it comes to that Bible, I ain't tolerating no lies. Ain't nobody going to be lying on God. And that's why some <coughs> ministry won't be blessed because you're lying on heaven. Right. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. All I'm trying to do is help you. Pastor Paul said, I set off things in order when I come. I had no intentions on working on this at all. But the Holy Ghost moved on me to put things in order. In order. And I'm going to put it in order with the Bible. Amen. You can talk behind my back after the benediction if you like. That's right. But you ain't going to be with me for 10, 15, 20 years. I know I'm called. I know I'm called. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's it. Where is it? Where is it? Here's all the knowledge that Dan the man Stasiak had. And Dan got knowledge. Oh, yes. And got a gift in him. Yeah. You won't even pay him to tell that lie and say he's called. No. You know why? Knowledge make you no know better. That's right. He's just waiting on the laying of hands of the Presbytery. That's all. That's and it. I know he got the gift in him. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Williams got the gift in him. Yeah. Williams got the gift in him. Yeah. But Williams told me straight up, I do not want to be ordained. I said, why? He said, because then you're going to mess around and send me somewhere in the preach. I'd rather be with you reading. <laughs> yes, he did. And he got the gift in him. Amen. Williams got the gift in him. Amen. And I know it's there. I see it's there. Amen. He told me to my face, I don't ever want you to be, I don't ever want to be ordained. I said, Williams, you know? He said, no, because if I be ordained, you're going to have to send me and send me and send me. And he said, no, I prefer just let me stay reading. And that way I can go with you when you got to go. <laughs> I say like the mm. Apostle Paul, I say this not to condemn you. That's right. But the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, he's not moving on me to deal with this for nothing. That's right. Hey, man, I was getting ready to quit. Man. <laughs> Some of y'all got feelings in your guts. Amen. That's of the devil. That, that's it. You got feelings in your gut. Your calling is in your gut. It's of the devil. That's right. That's right. If it ain't in that Bible, everything else is of the devil. Of the devil. That's right. Oh, if you can take this sound, doctor, you good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ordained elders in every city I as appointed. I have appointed thee. The Apostle Paul appointed Titus and then gave Titus permission. That's to it. Ordained elders in every city. Every it's city. plain. Every he city. said, as I has appointed thee. If we ordain men to be elders, they can't even take it upon themselves to ordain a soul unless they get permission. That's right. He said, as I, I had appointed, thee. appointed thee. That's doctrine. That's right. That's not request. That's doctrine. That's doctrine. That's doctrine. What an elder like saying, I ain't got to wait for Pastor Genesis. Well, who going to tell you? Mm. Mm. Who going to tell you? That's right. First chapter of Titus says what? Two, uh, Titus chapter 1 and verse 4. 
to Titus, mine own son, after the common faith. Why is it? Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Why is it? For this call. For this call. Left I the increase. The apostle got the authority to tell you where to go. That's right. When to go. How long to stay there. What to do when you're there. That's right. That's right. Lord, that God, I say like Paul, I magnify my office. Wonderful. Wonderful. I was called, hallelujah, to the apostleship. That's right. I was called in it, put in it, That's not right. for fun. That's why I have no problems putting church in order. What I got to lose after what? Fine, long as I don't lose God. That's it. Bible is right, That's and right. we gonna be wrong. Yeah. The Bible speaks plain. You can't if you ordain the elder. You just can't jump around and go ordain men. No way. For this cause left I the increase. Do you see this written here? Amen. That thou should. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. What? And ordain elders in every city. Where he get his permission from? As I had appointed thee. If I ordain Brother Jones an elder, he may come talk to me. Well, you know, this brother make a good elder. Mm -hmm. I consider what he said. Yeah. Meet the brother. But I bet I find out he went and ordained him and I ain't talked to him. That's right. But you know, I'm taking Jones out the pulpit. That's right. Why? He went beyond his biblical place. That's right. Because if I didn't appoint him to do it, and the Bible speaks plain. And ordain elders in every city as. How must you go about the ordination? As I had appointed thee. You can speak in tongue now. Yeah. But if you don't talk that Bible talk, I ain't yeah. paying you no mind. That's right. I'm not even listening. That's right. You won't even consider. No. You won't even consider it. I consider scripture. That's it. We got here by scripture. Yeah. We ain't get here by personal feelings. No, no. Nothing infiltrating the church but That's scripture. It. That's it. That's it. Do you hear it? And ordain elders in every city. As what? As I had appointed thee. Now, what must qualification Paul tells Titus before you actually do the ordination? If any be blameless. Wait, 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 wait. What? If any be blameless. You got a girlfriend again all day, you. No way. You got a second wife, I can't ordain you. You love money, I can't ordain you. That's right. You paying someone in the church to keep quiet, I can't ordain you. Blameless. Amen. Preacher at church, lover boy on the job, I can't ordain I can't ordain you. No way. Lover boy, lover boy Jack, I can't ordain you. <laughs> Quick tempered, I can't ordain you. Mm -mm. Now, nah. mm -mm. if any be blameless, you gotta say amen to this. It's like he's Acts two thirty eight. That's right. If you can't say amen to this, stay out from up here. That's right. Because this book is judging you. Yeah. All of you calling fellas, calling. Mm -hmm. Calling. 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 <laughs> That's right. Who's doing this calling? Who's doing the calling? Who's doing it? <laughs> That's right. That's right. I was called to be a pastor. Come tell me that. I make you read it. Read that. I make you read it. That's right. I read what he called the prophets direct. I read what he called the apostles, the apostles. direct. He called them. They heard his voice. That's right. Heard his voice. Ain't no gut feeling. No, no. No, I told the Lord I wasn't gonna go, so I I couldn't eat for a while. Wasn't gonna go where to work. <laughs> where did we get all this ham and egg visions from? I came out of that stuff. Yeah. Years ago. Years ago. Amen. Before my father died, he was a bishop, mm -hmm. ordained in a false church. My father was under me. Yeah. He came to work with me. Tell you a conversation me and my daddy had that I ain't never told nobody. 
I read that scripture in Titus. I said, Pop, let me talk to you. I said, did God call and send you? He said, God didn't call me to lead, but he called me to preach. I said, what did he say to you? He looked. He said, uh, what you saying? I said, I said, I was asking you, Pop. What did he say to you? I said, you know how you called me and I come running? What did God say to you that made you move? Right. You know what he said? I never, I never thought of that. I said, then how did you feel as though God called you? He described the same thing that I heard many say. I just, I had this feeling that I had to do something for God. I said, but where is that at in the Bible? That you had a feeling to be a bishop. Wow. He said, <laughs> he said, boy, the Lord is with you, ain't he? <laughs> me, you see, me, me and my pop, me and my father can talk like that. He said, whatever you do, stay in that Bible. Stay in it. Stay in it. I said, Gino Jennings ain't coming out the Bible. No, you're not. I'm not coming out of it. I don't want logic. I don't want opinion. I don't want feeling. I don't want philosophy. That's right. I don't want theology. Any brother in the truth of God that said he had the calling and it was a feeling, you were deceived the by the devil out of hell, and I don't care if it's your daddy. There ain't no such thing in that Bible where your calling is in your stomach. <laughs> That's right. I read where the Holy Ghost is as living waters, but not no calling. Not the calling. Take that apostolic junk and send it back where it came from. Amen. Come back to Bible. Amen. And stay there. That's it. I came up to apostolic. Dan the man stays there. Came up to apostolic. This elder here came up to apostolic. King came up to apostolic. Cole came up to apostolic. A whole lot of y'all came up to apostolic. We used to the verbiage. Right. Practically every minister that was in the apostolic church, I'm called, I'm called. You know why? That's what the bishops taught them. That's right. Before you get up here, you got to have the calling and nobody explained what it was. That's right. Everybody thought it was guts and headaches and <laughs> bad aches and bad tooths. That's right. I don't hurt all type of madness. I was going to go when I tell you I wasn't going to go. I had a toothache for three years. I done heard back when I came out the apostolic door they said about Paul. Paul said that I had a thorn in the flesh. A messenger sitting in a buffer. And the apostolic church, you know what they said that was? Paul had eye trouble. His thorn in the flesh was eye trouble. And the scripture they thought he had eye trouble was because Paul said I wrote large. large. They actually thought that meant Paul wrote large letters. No, writing large just simply means he wrote a lot. He wrote much. That's all it was. That's it. The way I was raised in the churches I came out of, I'm grateful. Because it gave me a better appreciation and a broader understanding. Go to the Bible. That's right. Don't get mad with Pastor Jennings. Don't get upset. And don't blame me because I pointed you to Scripture. Yeah. All you pointing me is to guts, back, shoulders, knees, <laughs> headaches, bad eyes, bad teeth, bad breath, bad feet, everything. Amen. This governs the church. That's right. Not Geno Jennings. That's right. This governs the church. This, governs it. this is our GPS system. Yeah. When the God come back for you, you stand before him with a calling that's not in here. That's right. 
Thine word has thine hid in thine heart that I may not sin against thee. God call you. Amen. And it's not in here. You're telling a lie. That's right. If it's, if it's, any, if, if it's in any other part of your body, but not in there. <laughs> That's right. You get rid of that constipation. Get rid of it. Amen. Get some Epsom salt. That's what they give inmates in prison. If you get too constipated, they give you Epsom salt. Mm. And I advise you, don't have nowhere to go that day. In fact, for a couple of days. Amen. Amen. I believe the Bible. That's it. I don't believe in a bunch of unnecessary, long, drawn-out conversation because I don't want to hear no Hebrew, Greek, Latin. I don't bit more care about that than I do a whistling dog. <laughs> dog got his tail up and head up. I don't want that. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. If you can't hold this Bible, this truth, and stick to this, That's it. push your feelings aside, you ain't fit to be ordained. That's right. That's right. We got ordination tomorrow. You don't believe this. Yeah. I ain't touching you. I ain't touching you because I believe this. I believe this. I believe this. You know why? This is that. This is that. And I ain't moving. That's right. I believe that. The Bible have never taught that all the areas of ministry is a calling. No. Apostolic teaches it. Pentecostal teaches it. Baptist teaches it. But the Bible never the Bible taught never it. Taught in it. fact, you don't even find not even an apostle in the Bible teaching the church using that language. No. Nowhere. No. There's not one apostle that teach the no. church and use that type of language. That's right. To all the areas of ministry? No. It got to be a calling on your life. No, it don't. No. You don't read where it was a calling on the lives of the seven? No. There was a dispute going on. That's right. The widows neglected their daily administration. Right. Women problems. That's right. And the apostle said, look, you out among you seven, seven men. men. Paul talk, the apostle said, look, we ain't got no reason to leave the word of God to go serve some tables. tables. Oh, right. It had nothing to do with calling. Women problems. That's right. The apostle said, listen, all right, this is what we're going to do. You look, you out among you seven men. This is what they got to have. Honest report. Honest report. Full of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. When we may appoint over this business. Wisdom. And then when they itemize who they go and choose, then the Bible says mightily grew. The word of God. They start going out there preaching the word. Right. You know, who come out being one of them? Philip. Philip. What was it? An evangelist. An evangelist. Group selection. That's right. Philip. Stephen has so much power who came out of the group selection. I see Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Group selection. Group selection. But that man had an anointing God knows. Group selection, but laid on by the apostles. That's right. He said, I see heavens open. I see heaven open. Open. He's being stoned while he's stoned. talking this. That's right. Look how strong he was. The man was being stoned. Oh. You don't read what he said. Stop. Don't stone me. They stoned him. He's in the spirit. I see heaven open. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Mm. You better not tell me he was called. That's right. He was one of the ones one of the that seven. was out of the group selection. One of the seven. 
group selection. That's right. We use the term calling too loosely. And God wants us to come back to Bible before we end up blaspheming on it. That's right. Let us not toss words around and connect it to ministry. Uh, there's a whole lot of brothers in the congregations who never been evaluated. A whole lot of them. And uh, said they had to call it. Talk to me one on one. Some have told me, Pastor Jenny, I don't, I don't do not want to be evaluated. I'm like, why? Because I don't plan on preaching. <laughs> I asked some, will you call? It was like, nope. <laughs> I said, but you, you know, you told me a few weeks ago you was. I said, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> I asked him, what changed your mind? He said, the word. Yeah. I said, what is it about the word that changed your mind? I took your advice. I started looking to see was it in there. Amen. I couldn't find it. And it hurted my pride. Mm. I said, don't let it hurt your pride. Let it save your soul. That's right. This ain't got nothing to do with pride. This have nothing to do with pride. I ain't worrying about having 20 and 30, 40,000 ministers. That's right. And then this thing is being preached wrong. The Apostle Paul said you make shipwreck. Yeah. You got the calling to do what? To do what? Well, I always felt as though I should be a preacher. What made you that important? <laughs> Here I was sent and ain't never felt as though I should have been a preacher. <laughs> Even Apostle Paul said, he wasn't worthy to be what he was. Yeah. Well, what kind of man are you? I always felt as though I should be a preacher. Wait a minute, brother. You better slow down. <laughs> That's right. You better first feel as though you need to take a bath before you need to be a preacher. <laughs> How did you get so high, so arrogant? I feel as, I, I knew. I feel as though I should be. Whoa, wait a minute. That's saying you feel as though that God should have made you? Who are you? Who are, Who are you? thou that replies? Against God. Who are thou? There's boldness in their stupidity. Right. I, I, I'm not worthy to be what I am. Yeah. Amen. Not at all. I ain't got sense enough to know it. Yeah. Amen. I know many viewers out there logging going can't stand this. He think you're the only one, right? Nope. I believe scripture. I That's preach it. scripture. I annihilate personal views and feelings. I don't agree with nobody's personal views or feelings. I agree with scripture. That's it. Because the author of scripture is coming back for me, not you. Yeah. When I stand before him, I got to stand before him with that. Yeah. And if I don't warn the wicked to turn from his way, his way. then the blood God is going to lay at my Your hands. hands. And I'm telling you right now, I ain't going to have a drop of blood on me. No way. For no reason. Wonderful. Get me. Wonderful, wonderful. If you get ordained, then get high-minded. We're going to sit you down. If you get ordained, then let the people push you. Then they start giving you titles that you know you don't have. And you don't correct them. That prove you a title lover. That's right. The Bible says, lay not upon me flattering titles. titles. So you that's eager to be up here, do you want to be a help? Or do you just want to be known? Do you want to be a help or you just want praise from people? You want to be help, or you want to hear the title chiming out there? Years ago, Bishop Johnson, when he was living, one of the mothers told me he had a church in Chicago. He bought a theater, sitting about over 5,000 people, and it was packed. And that was an elder who's dead now that some of us remember, Elder Copeland. Mm -hmm. 
short, clean man. Man, Copeland stayed clean. When he was younger, he was under Bishop Bessie Johnson. And Johnson had him pastoring the church in Chicago. Copeland was over about 5,000 people or more. And then uh, he got lazy with the crowd. Wouldn't work. Had a crowd buying them cars and everything else. And all of a sudden wouldn't stick to the apostles' teaching. Johnson handled it with such wisdom. <laughs> he said some of the elders say, well, you going to put him out? Johnson said, no, I'm, I'm not going to put Minister Copeland out. I'm just going to change where he's going to teach. <laughs> Johnson said, I caught out of Copeland into the office and said, Minister, how you here in Detroit? He said, the church in uh, Chicago going to miss you. He said, Bishop, I'm going somewhere? <laughs> he said, yes, I've started a new church in South Carolina, in the woods. <laughs> he said, really, Bishop? Yeah, yeah. How many, how many souls, Bishop? I only got about maybe five people. <laughs> he said, but Bishop, Chicago got 5,000. I said, that's all right. You go down there in the woods. How long, Bishop? Stay there. <laughs> long as he was under Johnson. Wow. He was removed from 5,000 mm. to five people. When you get so arrogant, high-minded, where you would think, oh, well, if you remove me, if the people love me. Oh, really? That's the spirit of the devil that's in you. Yeah. You see, ordination also challenges humility. That's right. I want to say, would you ordain a man that's not qualified? Yes. I want to say, what? It'll bring out what's in him. That's true. What? That's what Jesus did that's with Jesus Judas. Did. That's right. By the time a person just don't come out with what's in them until you get them a license. That's right. Someone said, you ever did that? Yes. When? The most recent one was Ellis. Yeah. I made him comfortable. Gave him license. That's true. He had an expiration date. Before I gave him that license, now let's say you's a king. He's my brother. He's this. I've never seen a man like him. Oh, praise God. Yeah. yeah. I wanted more to see what was in him. So I thought about when Jesus chose Judas. Yeah. I never told nobody this before. I never told nobody. So I said, you know what? I'm going to ordain him. Because either the real thing is in you or it's not. Or it's not. So now I got to figure out ways to get it out of you. And when I ordained him, my hunch was right. It manifests what was in him. You can have the gift, but if you read your Bible, the apostles laid hands on all the areas of ministry. ministry. You may not think it's something to it. You have no idea how that would transform your speaking talent. Yeah. Ask Taj. Is Taj even here? He's where? Oh, that's right, he's in the gym. Todd said it blew his mind. What came over him? Mm. He said he felt it, hallelujah. He said he felt the spirit of God when it came on him. And the church have a witness. His whole teaching yeah. changed. Oh, yeah. Ain't you no know one make it so beautiful? Todd gets so humble with it. That's right. 
None of the branch churches don't you put so much praise on no minister. None. Amen. And you ministers, don't you let them push you too much. They'll push you right off a cliff. That's true. They'll push you and praise you and then write me an evaluation form about you. <laughs> Amen. They'll push you and praise you and the same ones are writing an evaluation form about you begging me to take you out the pulpit. If you don't believe it, I'll take you in my office and show stacks on all of you. Wow. Some of the same ones that wrote me letters about you were some of the same ones that praise you. I got stacks in my office. You've been accused of picking on them, singling them out, everything. All because you preached something and they hit them. And they didn't like it. Wrote me and said, take him out there, Paul the Fed. He's the devil. <laughs> Everything that come to church is not church minded. That's right. There's some that want you to fall. That's right. Don't want you to succeed. Amen. Don't let members push you in a position that you're not. Don't do it. They start putting stuff in your head. You start thinking you're bigger than what you are. And then you start disrespecting leadership. That's right. How in the world are you going to be big over a work you didn't even build? Amen. I never saw something so silly in my life. When I had a little half inch by fair half inch false prophet I was training in Alabama years ago. <laughs> That's right. He had the audacity to say, well, if I leave the church, it ain't no more first church. Hey, first church exists before he even came on the scene. Jumped out and made himself some preacher with nothing. With nothing. Nothing. If God don't give this assignment to you, don't you lie on him. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. That's right. Many don't like me because of this stand and it don't matter. That's right. I'm telling you right now. Pastor Paul said, whoever they seem to be, make of no matter to, matter me. to me. I perceive that God have no respected person. He said, but out of every nation, he that worketh righteousness is accepted, accepted with, him. with him. You should be able to preach before a thousand and be humble if you preach before one. That's right. When we went to Jamaica, God sent me there. When I met Gary, them, I was already a preacher. That's right. Dan knew them long before I did. I was already a preacher. I didn't just become a preacher. I, I was already a preacher. Long before I met any of them in Jamaica. When we got started in Jamaica, we had no more than about uh, eight to ten people. When we got started. That was it. And there was a church that his father used to pastor. And when he first met me, it was at the grave site of his father. And I was battling the elders. At the, at the, at the time of burial. All these elders coming to me, the evangelist this, elder this, bishop this. And I'm asking them, who ordained you? They, all of them was telling me they was called. I said, show me that in here. Mm. Where's that in here? I mean, they was jumping titles and all. And Gary, I didn't know who he was. All I saw was this little tall, skinny fellow standing there. My God, who's he? My God, who is he? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Well, we had a burial site. Elder Gail, evangelist this, bishop that. I'm like, wait a minute, where is that in the Bible? That says that office is called and sent director of God. I mean, we was battling. They threw their hands and walked away. Mm. Amen. I remember when I, when I talked, me and Hezekiah, me and Hezekiah Thomas, Dan's father, we talked about that. When he came over, he came over uh, with us. Most of you ain't never met him. We had, we, had the came, we had the same conversation about Elder. He said, 
You must be called and sent by God. <laughs> and I asked, man, Elder Thompson was talking one day, and uh, I said, Elder, you, you say you was called and sent by God? Yes, Pastor Jennings, yes, the Lord called me into the ministry. I said, well, what, did he, what did you hear? He said, oh, I, I hear nothing. <laughs> hey, he told the truth. I said, so how did he call you? He said, I, I, I felt as though that I needed to help spread the gospel. And God made a way for me, spread the gospel. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I said, but the elder is an appointed office. Yeah. Hey, he, he, he was a very humble man. Did not retaliate. Did not get upset. Did not lay me out. We went right to the Bible. He said to me, yeah, you're right. He said, you know, Bishop Johnson, he preached the same thing. Mm. That you got to be ordained. I said, if he preached that, why didn't you follow him? He said, well... Where we at now, we, we don't have no apostle. So, I said, so y'all freelancing. <laughs> you know, a lot of folks don't believe in apostles now. And they think that office is just like anything else. They read the Bible, but they don't really believe it. Don't believe it. God will bless you. I'm a witness. If you stick to his word. That's right. I'm, I'm telling you, God is my true. witness. If you don't get exalted and don't get high-minded, you have no idea how God will bless you. God blessed Timothy through Paul. Gaius, Titus, Erascus. God blessed them through Paul. That's right. Joseph's entire master house. God blessed them through Joseph. Joseph. You can't take these offices and just sweep them under the rug. No way. You can't do that and then claim we, we are the doctrine of the apostles. You think this stuff is in there for? Yeah. Whatsoever thing is written is written for our learning. Oh. I'm not budging from it. God knows. I believe it because it's written. That's it. All of you that got their calling in your head, the calling in your back, the <laughs> calling in your side, the gut calling, the Charlie horse calling in the thigh, the toothache calling, the calling that make your eye twitch, <laughs> the earache calling, the calling that done put you in five different ministries in two months. Mm. You make God look foolish. Yeah. And all they ain't getting, get an understanding. Get an understanding. Get God have made me a very strict, sound, tough preacher. Amen. And I am not going to move from this. As it shows God is my God. Anybody want to get right and be baptized in water this new year? In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet and get right with God. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, come to the front. All of you that are standing, come on to the front. Amen. I want to say, Pastor Jenny, let me understand you right. Do you mean? I don't mean nothing. <laughs> Read it for yourself. Read it for yourself. When you go back to your hotel at night or home, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Let's take your personal feelings, take it, and throw it in the washing machine. That's right. Don't dry it. Because it may fluff on you. 